Howdy partners, it's your boy John here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium's Dawn as Communist Japan. Last time we left off, I was playing an invasion of the Philippines. It's been a little since we last played, sorry about that. A few things happened uh, here and there, and things kind of got in the way for a little bit. But we're back, and um, I'm starting to rethink my invasion plan I had set up here. I don't know if I like this idea here, going for the middle of the country. I think I'd rather land up north and then work my way south. That way I'm like closer to home and it might have an easier time resupplying the troops, right? Uh, plus I, I think I need to grab um, a couple uh, naval bases. Make it a little easier to supply the troops. I think that's going to be a good idea. Let's go ahead. I'm going to delete these uh, plans here that we had set up. Uh, we're going to land these troops here from Nagasaki. They're going to be coming south to land here, here, and here. I think I'm going to have these guys leave from the same place, or as close as I can. Yeah, that's right, they can't come from there. Alright, do this. Same general idea. There we go. And I'm kind of tempted to pull these troops here and have them do the same thing. Um, well, this is the army I'm basically just using to like defend the homeland. Although for now, I, I don't really think they're going to be too necessary as far as defending um, Japan itself. Because we don't really have to worry too much about anybody invading, I don't think. Unless... Um, I don't think the Philippines had any allies, do they? No, they don't. All right, so let, let, we'll, we'll leave it like there for now. Uh, let's go ahead. I think I need a couple more ships to a little bit of an extra hand over here. We need to get naval superiority up. So let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, what do we have here? Let's go ahead and set these guys to patrol. There we go. I think they'll give us the upper hand in the region there. All right, let's go ahead and unpause it. Um, let me see here. So it's going to take a while to get these guys ready to land. But I think I'm liking the way that looks. I might want to grab some more troops. We have some more troops in production here. So we'll get them going. Uh, probably attach them on to one of the invading armies. Because, I mean, we, we have a bigger army than the Philippines. I'm pretty sure. 14 and 28. So well, they, they're, they're kind of catching up here pretty fast. Um, but... The more troops we have to throw at the uh, invasion, probably the better, because I'm not, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. We are winning battles over here, though. So we definitely have the superior naval force. I'm seeing quite a few victories. Might want to actually get some more ships into production. We are working on this one here, the amphibious assault ship. As soon as that's done, I'm going to um, upgrade it, because we can't upgrade it, but I don't want to waste all the material. Have those in production. Let's go ahead, I think. Uh, I'm going to get some... Let's get a couple armor brigades in production. Well. Okay, there we go. Uh, German state goes to war. They are attacking Estonia. Germany did go nationalist. Um, they seem to be playing a little bit aggressive. Latvia, too. Uh, the Czech Republic. Okay, they're out to annex. <laughs> uh... You're buying off way too much than you can chew. Are any of these guys that you're going to war with, are they part of... Oh, you're going to get NATO called in on you. Um, 
But are any of them part of the European Union? Oh, look, the Czech Republic did go monarchist. That's cool. If they're part of the European Union, and uh, Germany declares war on them, Germany could end up with uh, the European Union coming in after them as well. Um, cause I think that was something they added in. European uh, Union members. If somebody declares war on one member state, the rest of the member states are obligated to come to that state's defense. Anything new going on over here? France is progressive. Okay, things are not going too well for Germany there. How much longer do we have on our invasion plan? Still got a little bit to go. Uh, Germany's not going to last. I don't think Germany's going to last. This is not going well for them. They, they definitely, they bit off more than they could chew. There was no way that they could handle all of those countries at the same time. Sometimes the AI makes me wonder, what, 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 you know, why is it doing that? Uh, missing production. What, what am I missing? Main battle tanks. Is there anything I've finished up with over here that I can... You know, let's just get back home. I'm wasting too much time. Poland is definitely expanding really fast. Uh, let's go ahead. Switch this over to main battle tanks. Get that going. We're good there on the uh, modern equipment. Alright, there we go. And I'll put one there just to get that done real quick. We're almost done with these um, motorized brigades. As soon as they get done, we're going to pop them in. Uh, possibly... Who's going to need the most support? I think we'll pop them into... Oh, France took two states. Polish Germany was puppeted. Okay, Bavaria was... Okay, so... There's a lot of stuff going on. Polish Germany is... They're under the Greens, right? What about Bavaria? What do we got? At least the Czechs are still hanging around. That's good. France has expanded. Poland... I believe Poland has expanded. We got Flanders now in NATO. Bavaria's in NATO. Poland expand? I don't think so. No. With all the territory they were grabbing, I was thinking they were going to hold on to something. Um, so we have Flanders as separate. I'm surprised that they didn't puppet Valonia. That would have broken up um, Belgium completely. Alright. Jump back over. Back home. Let's take a look at uh, how is this going. There was a battle there. I think we won. is gone. I think we've got them outnumbered here too. For the most part, yeah, we, we have their naval forces outnumbered. We definitely have the uh, better navy, um, but I probably need to continue to upgrade the navy, get more ships pumped into that. Um, I still got a bit of a ways to go on finishing that assault ship. What do we got going on? Um, I need to grab. Which one do I need? Future Japan requires one of the following. Naval Doctrine School. Uh, yeah, let's grab that. Um, we'll do that. That'll get it to where we can actually go down the future of Japan. From there... Um, what was I saying? Oh, I need to come down this way to aggressive strategies, don't I? We're going to come down this way. I think there's an alliance option there to ally Japan with China, but I think China has to be communist, and they're not communist at the moment. Uh, the closest thing is actually Taiwan, who is currently socialist. So maybe, I, I don't know, maybe an alliance with Taiwan would be a good idea. 
I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. But we need to do something about this. There's too many republics of China's, you know. One too many. Anything going down down here? Um, Macau is libertarian. If I, if I could go after these two without having to risk China coming after me, that would be great. But they're both still puppet, uh, puppets of China. So that's out of the question for the time being. China, of course, is going to have like a giant military. That's going to be probably the biggest threat to us at the moment. See, 94 to 227 regiments that they, they can field. Uh, so that's going to be a problem for us. Um... What to do? I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I'm kind of tempted to actually deploy this army, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead. Instead of doing that, I think I want to actually have these guys as part of the invasion. Well, how much longer do they have to go? Let's... They're going to be coming in later, it's just as backup, you know, extra reinforcements. There we go. How are we doing, though? I'm kind of curious. Let's see. You can fill 42 divisions, so we definitely have the upper hand there, although that might be negated by the invasion force. That's why I'm thinking um, landing those troops would be such a good idea. Outdated equipment in production. Don't worry, I'm going to change that as soon as I can here. Uh, major market liberal rally. All right, moving on. That's fine. How is the support doing? We could probably do with some more supports. Um. Hmm. Do we have the? Yeah, we do have the communist revolutionary, and they're pumping up support for communism. We could possibly. I don't know if I want to bump it up to extensive conscription just yet. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, you have it to partial mobilization. War economy might be a good idea. Um, what else can we do? Don't think I want to bump up taxes. Export focused. Limited exports. Um, you know that that doesn't sound too bad. I'm gonna put that to limited exports for now. We'll do that. We do have some units completed. Let's go ahead and pump him into. Put him in here. Uh, Switzerland joins the UN. Add that guy into that invasion force there. There we go. Still got a ways to go before we can actually invade. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Hold on a second. There was something I was about to check, and I already forgot what it was. Oh, here we go. Um, oil. I need more oil. Let's talk to... China? Yeah, let's talk to China. They're right next door. We'll do that. How many more do I need? I actually need quite a bit of oil. Talk to Russia. How's that? And... Um, Saudi Arabia, sure. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Few uh, naval conflicts going on here. Definitely got the upper hand for the most part. How much longer does this have to go? We're almost there. We're almost there. I think what I'm going to do is, since the um, the white army is a little further away, so I'm going to activate them first. Wait a couple of seconds and activate the orange. After they've landed successfully, we're going to send in uh, the red. 
Probably should give these armies names. What do I got going on here? A little minor skirmish there, nothing too serious. Uh, two more days? Two more days. One more day. And click. Click. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and do that. And now. Now. Okay. We do have some ships here we can send out. Let's go ahead put them onto a patrol pattern here. 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 There we go. Oh, not me to do that. My bad. There we go. Okay. Let's see how this goes. They're starting to... Hmm, they're moving troops around up there. I might want to actually try to focus on like getting more reconnaissance done. That way I know who's where. Another battle here. Very minor. I know they're in trouble, it looks like, because they're just sending out, like, small flights of, uh, aircraft against us. And, and we're shooting those down pretty easily. Naval Doctrine School. Alright, hold on. Let's push those guys out. We've secured that front line. I just want to make sure I, I've secured a, a decent, you know, like landing position first before we actually commit to pushing further south. artillery yeah hold here might be overstretching though These guys coming yet? Almost, almost. Alright, go, go ahead. Start landing your troops. I might be rushing too far ahead here. Trying to be a little sloppier than I, I would have hoped. We'll push these guys out before the rest of those troops land. Try to secure that before they push up. Reinforcements have arrived. 
So let, let's actually start laying out what we want them to do. I probably should have done this to start with. Um, we want our offensive line to be right there at Manila. So we're going to have everybody set that up. As soon as we get to Manila, then we can choose where to go from there. But uh, for the time being, we'll make that our main focus. Just take Manila. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay. <laughs> uh... Oh wait, hold on. No national focus. All right, we can actually start coming down this way now. Got the future Japan. there. Using the sheer numbers just to overwhelm them. This is kind of turning out to be a messy, uh, m messy war, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's not as clean as I would have hoped. If I can cut these guys off here, that would be great. Hold on. The lag, why is the lag so bad here? You guys hold your position. Okay. Uh, People's Republic of Switzerland leaves the European Union. When did they join? I don't know. We really need to just bust through this. They're creating a pocket here. We can't have that. Just do something about them. That'll make that front line a little cleaner. If we can break this one down here, the rest of them should follow pretty quickly. Everybody just hold where you are for now. I think... I think, um... Just let them throw themselves at us. Let them wa wa uh, tire themselves down. I think that would be the better option. Um, I don't know. Things are not going as well as I thought they would. They are starting to pull troops off. I think we're starting to tire them down, but we're, we're losing too many in the process, so that's the problem. Well, hmm. I think, partners, I'm going to call this the episode here. There's a little bit of a messy start to the war. We've gained a foothold somewhat. Now the problem is going to be trying to break these troops here. It's been so long since I played, I'm going to use that as the excuse why I feel so out of it. <laughs> um, yeah. 
But anyway, thanks for watching, partners. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Very much appreciated. It really helps me out. Don't forget down below if you're interested in donating to One Warm Coat. Link to the donation site down in the description below. I will see you, partners, next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.